Hello and welcome to today's video on data validation in Excel from your learning partner Learn Now. So let's start from our Excel sheet and select the cell or range of cells where you want to add data validation. Click on the Data tab in the Excel ribbon and find the Data Validation button. Click on it to open the Data Validation dialog box. In the Settings tab of the dialog box, choose the type of validation you want to apply to the cell or range of cells. There are several types of validation you can use. Any value allows any value to be entered in the cell or range of cells. Whole number only allows whole numbers to be entered in the cell or range of cells. Decimal only allows decimal numbers to be entered in the cell or range of cells. List allows a predefined list of values to be selected from a drop-down list. Date only allows date values to be entered in the cell or range of cells. Time only allows time values to be entered in the cell or range of cells. Time only allows time values to be entered in the cell or range of cells. Text length limits the length of text that can be entered in the cell or range of cells. Custom allows you to create your own validation criteria. For this example, we'll use the list validation type. In the source field, enter the list of values that you want to appear in the drop-down list. You can type in the values manually or select a range of cells that contain the values. For example, let's say you have a column of data that contains a list of product types, such as desk, binder pen, pen set, and clothing. You want to limit the cells in another column to only contain these values. In this case, you would enter the product types in a separate range of cells and then select that range in the source field of the data validation dialog box. Click OK to apply the data validation to the cell or range of cells. As you can see in the product type column a drop-down is there where you can select the data of list we had added such as desk, binder pen, pen set and pencil. Let's say you have a column of data that contains product types and a second column where users can enter the quantity of each product. You want to limit the second column to only allow quantities between 1 and 10, and you want to use a drop-down list to ensure that users enter a valid product type. Here's how you can use the data validation function to achieve this. Select the cell or range of cells where you want to add data validation. Click on the Data tab in the Excel ribbon and find the Data Validation button. Click on it to open the Data Validation dialog box. Click on the second column where users can enter the quantity of each product. Open the Data Validation dialog box again and choose the whole number validation type. In the Settings tab, choose between and enter 1 as the minimum value and 10 as the maximum value. Click OK to apply the data validation to the cell or range of cells. The second column should now have a drop-down list of valid product types, and users can only enter whole numbers between 1 and 10. And that's it. The data validation function in Excel can help ensure that your data is accurate and consistent, and can save you time by limiting the amount of data you need to manually check. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.